Today it's our 15th video, it's our 15th lecture on graph theory where we'll discuss all pair shortest path Warshall algorithm. So in video number 14, we have already discussed all pair shortest path Warshall algorithm question. So I always follow our reverse engineering and I request you to kindly watch video number 14 first because when you solve question using algorithm, it, it becomes easy for you to understand algorithm. Fine. So as we have already discussed question, how to solve questions using virtual algorithm, that is how to solve all pair shortest path. So we have already discussed, now we'll discuss a algorithm. So let's start with algorithm. So I've, as I've already discussed that for float virtual algorithm is used to find all pair shortest path, all pair shortest path. All pair shortest path means what? In Dicastra, uh, in Dicastra, and Bellman Ford, B E L L, in Bellman Ford, we used single source, single source shortest path. So, what is uh, Dicastra and Bellman Ford? So, in Dicastra and Bellman Ford, suppose this is a graph A, B, C, D, and E. So what you are doing in uh, single source that you are calculating distance from A to B, minimum distance from A to B, minimum distance from A to D, minimum distance from A to E, minimum distance from A to C where A is source, where A was source. Fine. So ev where everything, uh, one thing was very common in all the distances where source was single, single source. That is A was common in all the distances. But what if I have to find, what if I have to find distance from B to A also, distance from B to D, distance from D to A, distance from D to E, that is from all pair to all pair. Because of that, you have came across a new algorithm which is called float Warshall's algorithm which is used for finding all pair shortest path fine so hope you now understand what all pair shortest path is that which i have already discussed in previous video but since you are watching this video i have tried uh, to explain you a little bit so this this is the algorithm and this is the graph which we have discussed uh, you know we have solved the question using this graph only now what what you uh, now First of all, what I did, first of all, what I did, I made a what weighted matrix. So I've already discussed what weighted matrix is. So uh, this is R, S, T, U, R, S, T, U. What I did, uh, I have put the weight. So what is there any distance from R to R? Yes, there is path from R to R, which is 7. Fine. Is there any path from R to S? Yes, there is a path from R to S, which is 5. So I've put 5. Is there any path from R to T? No, there is no direct path, no direct adjacent path, adjacent length from R to T. So I'll put 0. So is there any path from R to U? No, there is path from U to R, but there is no path from R to U. So I'll put 0. Fine. Similarly, you put the, uh, no, you, in, uh, you insert a, another element. So this is what weighted matrix is all about. So first job is to create the weighted matrix, which I've already created. Now you have created, as I told you, uh, as I told you that in float Warshall, you have to create a matrix and the final matrix, which will give you the answer. So what is matrix? What is final matrix? So I told you that calculate number of nodes in a graph. How many nodes in a graph here you have? You have four, you have four nodes. So you have to make some matrix and which will and the fourth matrix. So you have to make four matrices and the fourth matrix will give you the answer for so the fourth matrix will give you the answer so what is that matrix which i have already discussed in my 14th number of video so i request you to kindly watch that now what i did i have created q0 matrix so what i have initialized q0 matrix so what was q0 matrix what i did where there was weight i put weight where there were weight i put weight but where there were zero i initialize it with infinity so this is what i am doing in first step that from for i j for i j zero to n how many what is the value of n uh, suppose if we are starting from zero so it will move three that is we are having four number of node so for every element that is for suppose zero zero if it is zero if zero zero is zero then initialize it with infinity if it is not zero then else then initialize it with weight this is what i'm doing if it is weight then initialize it with weight if it is zero initialize with infinity so this is how you will make a q0 this is how you will make a q0 fine so uh, so i'm making a q0 i'm using this and now I'm filling this matrix i'm using hope you understand understand what this matrix is so 7 infinity infinity 2 and then infinity 3 infinity infinity in place of 0 i'm putting infinity then 4 infinite 
1 and infinite fine this is q0 this initial matrix now i have to make uh, matrices now repeat step 3 and 4 it is the second step is saying repeat step 3 and 4 for k is equal to 0 to n so the uh, as uh, you can say uh, 0 means what the 0 index fine so 0 to 3 you can say so the current value of k is 0 fine okay repeat step 4 for k i is equal to so i is equal to 0 to 3 suppose i uh, now initial value of i will be 0 repeat for j is equal to 0 to 3 initial value of j is also 0 fine okay now you follow the same this formula in previous method we have used a trick this trick that trick was developed from this formula only in previous question when we have saw in a previous video in a previous video video number 14 when i have used the trick if you if you have seen my video i have used the trick using this formula only fine so what is this formula let's understand so suppose i am making a matrix q okay now how i am making, making this matrix let understand if i have to make what is the current value of i zero what is the current value of j zero so uh, which will be minimum of q zero zero q 0 0 what is q uh, first of all what is q this this is q q 0 0 so this is q 0 0 that is 7 comma let me write let me write here this is 7 comma q uh, what is value of i 0 what is value of k 0 q 0 0 is 7 plus q 0 0 7 so 7 plus 7 is 14 which is minimum 7 or 14 7 is minimum so i'll put 7 again let's understand this for this what will happen when i'll move again i'll come out no i'll not come out i'll i'll increment inner loop first of all i increment inner loop so this zero will become one so now this will become zero one fine because i is one so minimum of q one q zero one so which is q zero one five so i'll put five over here then what is i zero what is k zero q zero zero this is seven comma 7 plus what is k what is k k is 0 but what is j 1 0 1 what is 0 1 what is 0 1 this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 what is 0 1 5 so i'll put 5 so 7 plus 5 is 12 so which is minimum 5 or 12 5 so i'll put 5 5 okay fine okay now what will happen j will increment to 2 so now j will become 2 i have to you know find 0 2 element so q 0 2 what is q 0 2 infinity infinity what is i and k 0 0 what is q 0 0 7 fine what is q what is value of k 0 what is value of j is uh, 2 so what is q what is 0 2 0 2 is infinity so 7 plus infinity is infinity and this is infinity which is minimum infinity so i'll make it infinity hope you remember that question fine okay now what will happen j will increment and it will become the last value it will take the last value which is 3 because all will move from uh, 0 to 3 so it will become 3 so now you have to find q03 this element fine so this will give you q03 what is q03 infinity initial value is infinity q this is i is 0 k is 0 0 0 is what 7 so i'll put 7 plus q k is 0 j is 3 now so 0 3 is again infinity so i'll make it infinity 7 plus infinity is infinity and this is infinity so I'll, what will be the minimum value infinity as i have to find minimum find infinity now if you have not seen seen change you will change see a change over here you will see a change over here suppose i have to calculate this now what will happen i'll again increment j but it will uh, loop will terminate so the loop will terminate what will happen i will get incremented so the now final value of i will become uh, next value of i will become one again j will initialize to zero so what is the value of i now one what is the value of j is zero so i have to find the value of one zero what is the value of i it's one what is the value of k is still zero what is the value of k is still zero what is the value of j is zero zero so q one zero so what is q10 this is 7 sorry what is q10 so what is q0 what is q10 with q10 i'll see this one q10 is 7 q10 is uh, 7 uh, q107 fine q q10 so again q10 is 7 again q00 what is q007 so plus 7 7 plus 7 is 14 and this is 7 which is minimum 7 so i'll put 7 over here now see here this this will give you exact exact understanding what will happen now i'll increment j because inner loop will get incremented fine so what will this become q11 so this will be q11 again i is 1 k is 0 k is 0 j will become 1 
So Q11, what is Q11? This infinity, I'll put infinity. Q10, what is Q10? Q10, uh, Q i is 1, k is 0. So Q10 is what? Q10 is 7. So I'll put 7 here. Fine. And plus Q01, what is Q01? 0 and 1, 5. Fine. So what is this infinity and 12 which is minimum 12 so in place of infinity now you will have 12 so finally hope you understood what i am trying to tell you so it will keep on incrementing j then j will become false so i will become uh, to the moment i will become false again i'll increment k so again i will start from uh, again i will start from zero again j will start from so it'll keep on you no know, using you no know, this loop so what will happen finally the final result you will get you will get a matrix where you will get the minimum weight of all pair uh, shortest path which I have already explained in 